What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video helping you guys out in the year 2022, particularly when it comes to Navy Federal and helping improve your odds of getting approved for a Navy Federal credit card. And in this case, we are going to be focusing on the Go Rewards card right here. So this is one of six credit cards that Navy Federal has to offer. If you look here at their main credit card page, you can actually go from top here, which uh, they're actually pushing the cash rewards hard pretty hard right now because of the cash back uh, that they offer on it. But we're gonna scroll through here and you guys can see uh, pre-qualification, we'll talk about that a little later in the video. It's a good tool that you can use. Um, some of the stuff their cards offer right here, that you can see they have the cash rewards, the platinum, the go rewards we're talking about in this video. Uh, the signature flagship, the more rewards and the end rewards. Those are the six credit cards Navy Federal has to offer. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on the Go Rewards. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, especially if you think this video is helpful. Please tell me about it down in the comment section below. If you have this card, I definitely wanna hear what you have to say about it down below. I have a flagship card with Navy Federal, but I do not have the Go Rewards card. So if you guys have this card and you like it, please tell me about it. Now, as we look at this Go Rewards card here, uh, we'll go through this part here, then we'll dig a little deeper into the offer, okay? So what they're highlighting here is the low intro APR on purchase that you can get with this card. Now it says this card is best for busy lifestyle, dining out, and then average to excellent credit. So we'll go through this, we'll dig deeper into the details, and then I'll show you guys some separate notes that I made just to help you out uh, when it comes to the credit cards with Navy Federal. Now, as we look at this, you're gonna look at the rates here. 8.99% up to 18. Navy Federal does not go over 18% on their credit cards, okay? So you see credit cards are like 24, 26, 28%. Navy Federal does not go that high. It's one, reason, one of the reasons why people love them is because of the fact that um, you know their interest rates tend to be lower. Also, you look at these fees right here, right? Look at all these fees that they don't have, all right? No annual fees, no balance transfer fee, no foreign transaction fees, no cash advance fees. I've seen other credit cards, they don't have like one or two of these, but I don't think of any outside of Navy Federal I can see that have that don't have all four of these. I mean, every one of their unsecured cards has no annual fee except for the flagship, and it's only 49 bucks. But with Navy Federal, they're, gosh, they gotta be one of a few financial organizations where they have none of these. So lower interest rates, less fees on lots of things are why people love them big time. Now the rewards we'll look at here, uh, three points at restaurants, you get two times the points on gas and one times a point on everything else. So it can be a pretty good um, card if you wanna get some rewards points. Now some of the features and benefits, there's no rewards limit. Uh, you can redeem these cards for cash, travel, gift cards, and merchandise. So I usually prefer cash is my thing, but hey, do what you do. Uh, the rewards, uh, they do not expire while the account is open and you get cell phone protection with it. Down here are some of the other things that they offer that are just with all of their cards and things that are common with other cards too, like right, you know, 24 seven access to a rep, um, you know, freeze, unfreeze your card, fraud notifications, all that kind of thing. Those are all things that are pretty common that they offer. Down here is just re talk about redeeming rewards. Uh, you can monitor your credit score and then also they have member deals where you shop online. You can actually get uh, more points for doing it through member deals with Navy Federal. Now, as we come up here to dig a little deeper into the details, now, the Go Rewards card. So this is the selling point they have right now. So open a Go Rewards card and you can save on interest with a 0% intro APR on purchase for six months. After that, a variable APR between 8.99 and 18% applies. Um, this is the offer they're going with into January 2022. I believe last time this Go Rewards card did have like either $100 or $150 cash back sign-up bonus if you spent 1000 or 1500 bucks. Um, it's usually 10%. So if it's a hundred dollar sign up bonus, you have to spend a thousand to get a hundred back. That's typically what they do, but they uh, took that away. So they when they change when they changed their um, offers or their promos this last time around, maybe federal on all three of them, they actually just took something away. They didn't add anything. So maybe uh, when twenty twenty two rolls around, maybe they'll increase something else with this offer here. But the rewards, like we said, three points on gas, three points at restaurants, two on gas, one on everything else. Okay. That's really what they're offering with this card is just the points you're gonna get back. If you wanna take advantage of the zero intro APR for six months, you could, if that's something gonna be advantageous to you. But after that, you're looking at just the normal interest rates. So I don't know if this is really one of their more popular cards, you know, something like a cash rewards, the flagship, or even like the platinum if you wanna get the 0% APR. Those, you know, could be more popular than this in my eyes, but for some people, this card could really work for them. Now, if we go look at some other things you need to know in general with Navy Federal that can help you out, 
Uh, they typically prefer that you wait three billing cycles or about 91 days before asking for a credit limit increase or applying for another credit card. So you get approved, that's typically how long they want you to wait. Um, you can apply before then for either of those, the credit limit increase or the three bit or another card, but you're just more likely to get denied. I have heard of people doing it before the 91 days and getting approved, but it just sounds like it's not that common. I have not tried it myself. Now, common advice is to apply for a credit limit increase on the site or using the apps that it is a soft pull, okay? I did my request online for a credit limit increase for the flagship card. That was a soft pull. I got no notifications or anything saying that there was an inquiry on TransUnion or any of my um, credit reports so or any of the bureaus. So you are allowed to have up to three credit cards with Navy Federal as a primary, meaning three credit cards in your name. Authorized user on other people's cards, there's like really no limit, I guess. The amount of people that you can find with Navy Federal cards will put you on as an authorized user. Um, so the total credit limit allowed with Navy Federal is $80,000, okay? Whether you have one, two, or three cards. Now, if you have one card, like the flagship here, so this is what I have. The only card I have with them right now is the flagship, all right? So I can take the flagship card and I can eventually get that up to an $80,000 credit limit. Now, if I do that, then I cannot get a second or third card with Navy Federal because I've hit that $80,000 limit. So that $80,000 limit, you can just do it on one card if you want, or you can spread it across three cards. Flagship goes up to $80,000. The other unsecured cards go up to $50,000 limit. So if you never get a flagship card, then you know, you'll be able to do it, you know, at least have at least two cards that you can get with Navy Federal to work up to an $80,000 limit. So you can get, you know, one flagship, you have a $40,000 limit, you can get a cash rewards, you have a $20,000 limit, you can get a go rewards for a $20,000 limit, however you want to do that. And you can also get more than one of the same card, and you can earn the bonus each time, but you still have to uh, stay, you know, within that $80,000 credit limit with Navy Federal. One, two, or three cards, that's all you're getting. Now, Navy Federal typically pulls TransUnion. Sometimes Equifax, but at pretty much every data point I've seen from people has, says, has said TransUnion. Uh, I've talked to a couple of reps. One of them said 10% of the time they pull Equifax. Another one said 50-50. But from what I've seen and from what I've in data points, my experience is pretty much always TransUnion. Uh, so that's what you're going to get hit with on the hard inquiry when you do apply. Now, one tool you can use is the pre-qualification tool all right, on the website, which is what we were looking at earlier. So, uh, heck, it even shows. No, it doesn't show on this page. But I think if we go back here, we'll see it. Apply now. Here we go. Pre-qualify. So you would go click here. You click pre-qualify me. And then you're going to give some of your personal info. You're also going to state your income on there. And it will show which credit cards you pre-qualify for. Now understand, if just because you pre-qualify for a card is not a guarantee that you will be approved for the card if you apply for it. Okay? There's a good chance you will be approved, but it's not a guarantee. Another thing people like to do, another tool they can use besides the pre-qualification tool is some people like to use, you know, Navy Federal's products before applying for a credit card. So that could be just having a checking and savings account with them, which is good to have. And if you have that, do not overdraft, okay? Making payments um, on time, having money in your account, showing that you're responsible is big to Navy Federal. So if you're overdrawing your account, you have these overdrafts on there, and you want to apply for a credit card, that's not going to look good, okay? Now, because would you want to give money to someone who's already short on money? Would you want to loan that person money? Probably not, because you think there's a good chance you're not going to get the money back, or it's going to be a huge hassle to get the money back. So showing you can manage your money with checking account, savings account. Um, some people also like to do a pledge loan or get a CD account with them just to use other products with them. So that, you know they're showing Navy Federal they're more committed to them. You can do that. But when I spoke to the rep, she made it a point to be like, yeah, making payments on time and not overdrawing your account is like, that's the big thing with Navy Federal, okay? So doing that, using a pre-qualification tool, these kinds of things can help give you a gauge of your chance of getting approved for a credit card with them. So, and after you get approved for the credit card, you are gonna get a letter in the mail that's gonna probably look like just junk mail, but keep that because on the back of it, it has your Navy Federal credit score. They have their own internal scoring system for you. A lot of people don't know that. It ranks you from 100 to 450. That's their scoring system. So, you know, so let's say you get approved for the credit card. That letter is going to come in the mail later. So when you get mail from Navy Federal, look at it front and back because it's on the back where it has that score that you want to know. So that's how they view you as a customer. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you guys being so awesome, spending part of your day with me. Hopefully it was helpful for you with giving you some good quick insight into Navy Federal, the credit card system, um, you know, things you can do uh, to increase your chances and, you know, other things you just need to know about their credit cards in general. So 
Let's talk about the Go Rewards card in the comments section. If you're going to apply for it, let me know. If you already have it, definitely let me know what you think about this card. I'd love to hear what you have to say and share your thoughts with other people down there so you can help them out as well. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks again for being so awesome. And until next time, keep growing your money.